both in your own work and in the arts in general, but what do you see as the, um, how would you describe the way that um, art and science intersect in the sustainability um, arena? Um, does science inform your work? Are you responding to science? Are you critiquing science? Are you using science to um, help inform people? Are you suggesting new approaches to science? Um, what is the what is the intersection as you see it? Um, I actually am very interested in truth, right? Um, and uh, and in science not having a monopoly on truth, right? The thing about the um, scientists are people too, artists are people too. We are all making sense of the world and wanting to trust what we know and how we know it. Um, empirical, experimental strategies are not only the domain of science, um, and in fact, all of us can and should use them. So the role of the artist with respect to science um, is, um, is, I think, particularly interesting and particularly pertinent. The artist stands in for the everyman, right? They, uh, no one trusts an artist. <laughs> no one believes an artist, right? They, they have no credentials or, you know, they're, they're just not believable, right? So they're only as persuasive as, as the representations that they produce. Scientists say that, you know, what scientists? When? You know, who? Mm -hmm. who you know, that uh, science has proven, well, science hasn't proven very much, but it's, it's what is valuable about science and participatory democracy, and this is not my idea, this is John Dewey's idea, is actually that that, that empirical experimenting is a um, critical part of participatory democracy. For people to have their own kind of, we hold these things to be self-evident, right? Um, which was the edit of the Constitution that it wasn't we hold these things to be God-given or given to us from the authority of science or any other authority. We hold them to be self-evident. We have to kind of figure out for ourselves what is true and when it's true and where it's true, right? So something that works to change one's lifestyle for somebody in New York may be different from somewhere in, in, in Houston. So the role of the artist, I think, is to be the everyman, is to be, you know, not credential, not, uh, and therefore, you know, as, uh, as an artist, if I can develop a way to measure air quality and moreover develop a way to improve air quality, and this is fantastic, I'll have to show it to you, that um, this solar chimney that we have that pulls the, um, uses the, th the thermal differential, pulls the, the air from the stroller height uh, phenomenon, the worst boundary layer in urban air, pulls it up through passive solar chimney and through a filter where it collects all that elemental carbon, all that black grime. And then we remove that from the filter and create pencils. The pencils are the length of the, of the, um, uh, that you know represent the length of the, of the, the <laughs> aggregate um, air quality measure. Um, but the pencil is mightier than something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, this idea that um, if an artist can do that, if an artist can improve environmental health, if an artist can improve um, uh, local air quality, if an artist can make a pencil out of the grind that is causing kids asthma, then I can do it, right? So that's the critical um, role that artists can play um, as, a, you know, precisely because no one believes them, no one trusts them, and no one really respects them very much. But, but that gives um, this unique cultural um, hinge that um, they don't have any access, any unique access to scientific training or truth, that they, they have their hands, they have their limited agency, they don't have big institutions behind them typically, to, and they are accountable not to a community of expertise. Typically I don't have to get my work peer reviewed in order to publish it, but I'm actually, you know, the work has to be believable, presentable, legible to a diverse public, right? And that legibility means that my peers, my peer reviewers are in fact the public, whoever they might be. And I think that's a critical role for artists.